massive unboxing everybody very dramatic here today but i mean i think you can be i don't know quite understandable because not only do we have the surprisingly heavy box of the xbox series s but the absolutely ginormous even heavier box of the xbox series x but first get yourself acquainted with corsair's k60 rgb pro this gaming keyboard means business with a brand new Cherry Viola mechanical switches, a strong and durable aluminium frame, and of course, full RGB backlighting for incredible visual effects. Customize it your way with full IQ integration, synchronize lighting with your other Corsair components, and play your best game in style. Check out the Corsair K60 RGB Pro today with that link down below. I mean, just looking at some of these specifications on the box gets me excited. 4K 120 frames a second, that I can believe in a fair few games. 8K HDR, probably not quite so likely, but it supports it. A 1TB SSD, variable refresh rate, and then a 4K Blu-ray drive. Whereas this one, you get half the amount of space, it is only 500 gig. You don't get any drive at all, so it's gonna be pretty much all digital here, maybe Xbox Game Pass. But that isn't gonna stop this from being an absolute powerhouse when it comes to next-gen gaming. It's just gonna do it at 1440p, but still up to 120 frames a second. Very exciting stuff. Let us begin with the smaller console. Mine seems to have been a little bit pinched in shipping, but let's, let's hope there's not a hole in this. Get some of that noise on the mic. A couple of plastic tabs to remove, and then the whole box should start to open up and reveal something that is going to power your dreams. This, this is tiny. Wow, I did not expect that. Like, like, look at this thing for a second. I, I've seen pictures of this, but actually holding it in my hand, like, here's an RTX 3070. It's pretty much the same size as what is classified as a relatively small graphics card. Inside the rest of the box, you do have your little Xbox games controller. And I haven't really seen that much about this, actually. If it looks very similar to the Xbox One controller. As to how it feels on hand, it does actually feel a little bit bigger. It's almost like the grips down the bottom actually are a little bit bulkier. It will take me a while to properly get used to it, I suppose, but picking the older one up, actually, it does feel now a little bit loose. I think that I do prefer the new Series X and S controller. How about that? I love the texture, actually, on the back as well. All of these triggers now have tiny, tiny little dots on them, which gives you a little bit more feel, I guess. It's the same for the back of the controller, actually. Pretty similar to what you had before, but there's just more of it. There is actually an extra button. There is now a share button on the Xbox Series S controller. And if you look very closely, the D-pad, the design has changed ever so slightly as well. What else do we have here in the box? We have our high-speed HDMI 2.1 cable, and then you have your standard two-pin power adapter. Importantly, there is no horrible power brick like we've seen before. This is fantastic. I'm glad we've moved away from that, to be honest. Which now means we can actually have a proper look at our console. And here it is, our Xbox Series S. This is very much for cooling purposes on the top. It almost looks a bit like fabric in the pictures, but it is very much plastic on the top. When you actually look at it, I don't know, you're gonna sort of see this, I guess, from the front. Not too shabby at all. You've got USB port on the front. Once again, no disk drive, very important. I guarantee there will be someone buying this that doesn't realize that and will buy a disk. We have HDMI out, no HDMI in, like we have on the previous generation consoles. Two more USB ports, ethernet, and then this interesting little storage expansion. These have NVMe PCIe generation four drives in, so ridiculously quick. And there are gonna be plenty of games that will need that speed, otherwise they just won't work. So unlike what Sony are doing, they're actually doing this storage expansion slot just to make it easier for everybody. So you go out, you buy something, you know it'll work, plug it in, and then you have more storage. Whereas if you were to upgrade the SSD itself on a PlayStation, then there's a chance you might buy the wrong one. No risk, I guess, of that happening with this. And so that is the Xbox Series S. Definitely a very, very tiny little thing. And maybe this is just the inner nerd in me, but if you're someone that does want to travel a lot or maybe you just wanna play games when you're traveling, but you shouldn't be playing games, you could actually put this in like a satchel bag or your suitcase or something very, very easily, especially as there's no disk drive. You're not gonna to have to worry too much about it getting damaged. Let's press on though and move on to the one that many of you have been waiting for, the Xbox Series X. And so here we go, our lovely Xbox Series X. And yep, this thing is definitely a whole lot bigger. Once again, power your dreams. This is full retail packaging, by the way. 
Look at that. Very heavy as well. Some green on the top. This is not LEDs, this is paint. We can remove this. And here we are, our Xbox Series X. A very different looking console, but I really like the design. It's more just gonna be, depending on where you put it, is it gonna look a little bit out of place, right? Because traditionally, you're gonna put this in like a storage rack, but it's not really gonna work in a whole bunch of cases. Like if you put this on a desk or something, it's gonna fit in and look perfect, but it's definitely very much more PC orientated rather than the traditional design. You see there is the optical disk drive on the front, once again, 4K Blu-ray. We've got our little eject button, sync button, USB on the front. It is a bit of a shame that they didn't add another one, but it's probably not really required. Turning to the back, it is very similar, if not the same actually, to what we saw on the Series S. We have that storage expansion once again, Ethernet, two USB ports, looks like a Kensington lock, power, HDMI out, still no HDMI in, I guess the whole connect. HDMI thing didn't really work. Let's finish the unboxing though. Here we also have a quick start guide and then at the back should be pretty much exactly the same cables but a slightly different black controller. I say different, I mean it's just a color. I'm gonna be really boring here and say that this is an ever so slight off black. It's more of like a slaty gray black. If you compare it to the console itself, it is definitely a little bit lighter. But yes, that is what the channel has come to now. We're talking about shades of black. You could have been doing so many things today, but you chose to watch me talk about this. That's on you. Power cable, exactly the same. Once again, HDMI, also high speed. But otherwise, that is pretty much a lot. Which means we can properly now compare the consoles side by side. And both of them look very good. I mean, I, I had a big problem with the original Xbox One design. I thought that looks pretty terrible, to be honest with you. Whereas both of these and the PlayStation look pretty slick. I actually reckon I prefer the Xbox design just because they're slightly smaller and gonna be a little bit more, I don't know, easy, shall we say, to like integrate into your living room environment. But the PlayStation does look like a spaceship, which is gonna appeal to a load of people. This looks a little bit like a Stormtrooper though. This is, this is really cute. I should note that there are actually some rubber pads on this Series X so that when you put it down flat like this, it is, well, it almost shows you the orientation and it's obviously not gonna slide around. My, my desk is, but the Xbox is gonna stick to the ground, which is cool. I think the only other thing really that I haven't mentioned is that the cooling system on the Series X uses this almost like single chamber design, very similar to something like uh, Apple Mac, I suppose, in the old days where the air is sort of vented through. Doing our size comparison, once again, here is a RTX 3070, a whole lot bigger, a whole lot heavier, as you would expect. Let's make this video a little bit more PC centric. <laughs> and show you versus what is actually quite a small PC. Oh no, my microphone's got caught. Obviously I say small and it's, it's, it's huge relatively speaking, but for an ATX full size PC, this is one of the smaller ones anyway. And you can still see that consoles are far superior when it comes to volume. But of course you can just create a small form factor PC if you want as well. In fact, how about we do that? Here you go. You can see in order of power, if you like, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, and then a RTX 3080 gaming PC. And here you go, your complete lineup, if you like, of the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Library. You have your console, your Series S, and then your Series X, and then the ridiculously powerful RTX 3080 PC. Let me know which one is your favorite. I mean, I'd like to think most people would say the, the PC, but obviously when it comes to cost, both of these are significantly lower priced. And this one is actually gonna perform pretty similarly, I reckon, to the PC, but we have to wait and see and actually get testing. So get subscribed for the full review, which should be up very shortly. Let me know your thoughts though, which of these looks the best, which one will you be picking up? And if you are a PC gamer, would you get a console to go alongside? And would you go for a Series S, Series X, or of course, a PlayStation 5? Availability probably is gonna be a little bit up in the air for a while, but if you do wanna check out current pricing, then you can with my Amazon affiliate links listed down below. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to check out Corsair's epic new gaming keyboard. The K60 RGB Pro combines the very best of RGB visuals with pure mechanical gaming performance, all for a very attractive price. With full N-key rollover, Windows key locking, and customizable actions in IQ, the K60 RGB Pro has both style and substance. Get yours today with that link down below. 
Smash the like button if you've enjoyed it. It really does help out. You honestly wouldn't believe. And of course, a massive thank you to Xbox for actually supplying these review units early. It is much appreciated. Thank you for making this possible. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.